So after you complete part one, uh, remember to staple it and put it in the top to top bin here uh, in the tray that's marked ready for first quadrant. Um, somebody then is going to come along. They're going to find yours and they're going to pick it up. Okay, and then they'll take that and graph it. Once they have graphed it on your coordinate plane right here, what uh, they're then going to do is they'll take this, so I'm going to pretend that I just graphed that, and they're going to stick it in the bin called ready for reflection. When they do that, though, they need to do one more important step to make sure that they get credit for uh, doing that graphing. In order to get credit for the graphing, what they're going to need to do is come to the Transformation Project folder and find their homeroom's project sign-in sheet. Uh, so let's say I'm in the seven ones. I'll click on this, and this will open up a Google spreadsheet um, with everybody's name in it. This is where you're going to log what you did. So if I have my name here, um, I'm going to be person uh, this person here, and I'm going to say, okay, I did the first quadrant uh, for, uh, for someone. I'm going to put their name uh, in this column that I did the first quadrant. Um, really, to get, to get full credit, you only need to do uh, three, other na uh, three other names here, th uh, three out of the four. Um, but if you do a fourth, that obviously would help someone out. So I'll just put the, the name of the person I did the, uh, in here. So Bilbo Baggins. Okay. And then uh, I will put that back into the tray, into the tray marked ready for reflection. I'm then ready to move on and do somebody else to see the reflection, rotation, or translation. It uh, doesn't matter what I do, as long as I do uh, three, three things. So let's say I come along and I'm going to do somebody's uh, reflection. So I reach in the bin here, I find somebody, it doesn't have to be somebody from my home room, but I'm just going to grab theirs, I'm going to look at their list of coordinates, I'll look and make sure that the graph is done, so um, if I saw that this one, the graph wasn't done, Obviously, I put it back in this bin, um, or or I just go ahead and do it and give myself credit for that. Um, but let's just say it were graphed in the in the first quadrant. For the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. But um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this back to my desk, uh, and I'm going to write down the reflected coordinates. I'm not going to look at the graph. I'm not going to look at the graph and try and reflect it by eyesight. I'm going to write down the reflected coordinates and then I'm going to graph these. Once you're done graphing those reflected coordinates, make sure you put it back in the tray and you're going to want to put it in the tray labeled ready for rotation or whatever the next one down is. Uh, each time you do a project it should be moving down to the next slot. So let's say then you're the last person. You come along and you pull this out of the translation pile. It's got three columns all done you do the translating, which is uh, 10 units down. Remember, if you're going down from the first quadrant, okay? You're going down from the first quadrant, you're going to subtract 10 from the Y coordinate, okay? And all of these, by the way, guys, this is a reflection across the Y axis of the original. When you do the rotation, you're not rotating this one, you're rotating the original. So you're always going back to the original coordinate. So when you translate, you're not translating this, you're not translating this, you're translating the original. Um, so when you finish up, and there are four pictures on here, what you're going to do is either find the owner if they're in the if they're in your home room, or make sure it's stapled uh, and you put it back in the bin. Uh, in that last bin right there, that's going to be that's going to be the done pile. Uh, you need to check back often to see if your project is completed. Once your project is completed, you need to pull that out and you're going to decorate it. You're going to color it, you're going to make it look good. So I did, uh, remember I did the moon and the house, so you know, color the moon yellow, let me put a little couple moon beams in there. Um, and then what I will do is uh, you're going to put it in a, uh, a separate tray for completed projects uh, that I will then be able to grade. Remember what I'm grading you on though. I'm grading you on your original coordinates, so did you write them down correctly on your particular project and how you decorate it? That's your part one grade. Your part two grade is your work on other people's projects. That's why it's so important that you always go back to that sign-in sheet and log what you did. Write it down. Write down whose project you worked on and make sure that your work is next to your name. Um, make sure you have at least three projects 
that you worked on. Uh, and then when you're done with this, um, I will grade it and get it back to you.